Good morning, welcome everyone. This week we have Lindsay Strang joining us. She's a, a native here from Phoenix and I'm gonna just tell you a little bit about her, where we met. There's Lindsay. Hi, Hi Lindsay. Good, how are you doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Great, thanks for being here. And um, you know, when I reached out to you to um, see if you'd be interested in being one of our badass spotlight teachers of this month, uh, yeah, you responded really quick as a yes, so thank you so much for uh, for doing that. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So if I so I'd like to tell everyone like how we met really quick um, yeah. and mm -hmm. um, how how we know each other. So I met mm -hmm. Lindsay just prior to level one last year, um, and I I was following her on Instagram. She was a, a local studio here in the in the Phoenix area, and I noticed she was teaching some Baptist yoga, and I reached out to her. I said, Hey, you should totally go to level one. And you responded back like, yeah, I'm already signed up. I'm like, wow, cool. <laughs> so fast forward, we do level one and we just become really good friends. I came out, I took a class at your studio, like right before COVID was hitting. It's like, I remember it was right at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's how we know each other. She's your class is amazing. And I just wanted to spotlight you because you're really up to some amazing things. And we have a connection because we're both military, we're both Air Force and your husband, you're just a military family. So we just uh, instantly connected. So um, yeah, you can tell the tell our viewers out there what, a little bit about yourself and anything else sure. you want to say about your studio, your teachings. Yeah, sure. So I really, I really ground everything in a um, journey into power. I like to uh, kind of take a sense of my student, obviously. Uh, it's kind of hard doing it over um, like Zoom or virtual, or especially something like this where uh, I can't physically see all who are practicing, but I really enjoy the connection that's made with Baptiste Power Yoga. And I think that just the unconditional love and overwhelming like gratitude I feel at the, at the finale of a journey into power is just like amazing and I'll never go back to anything else. And this is just the best community and I can't, like it's the same everywhere. And it's, you know what you're getting everywhere you go. And I love that about Baptiste Power Yoga. Um, I don't know. I'm a mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have two kids. I eat the crumbs that fall on the ground. I um, I try my best to be the best, and it just you know this is where we're at, and just full of joy and gratitude is all I can all I can say. And just everything that happens. I just lost my studio, but everything happens for a reason. It's the next chapter, and we're trying to figure out where my path leads. And I'm just open. I'm just mm -hmm. I'm just open to whatever um the path whatever path opens up to me or shows itself to me and i hope through yoga and everything else that everyone can see the joy and gratitude in life and maybe a path will open up for them because i know this is a challenging time and everything is different and this is not normal and i think that you know staying grounded in our practice can really keep some normalcy in our lives yeah thank yeah. you for sh thank you for sharing that and um opening up about your studio. Um, so if people want to find you today or afterwards and they want to practice with you, are you doing any, anything online somewhere? Or are you anywhere yeah. else? No, yeah, yeah, so I have um, uh, through APY or Pussy Power Yoga, I'm still doing online yoga classes. I'm doing via Zoom. So we'll meet up. I can see you. It's via Zoom. And I actually have um, unlimited online classes for $65 if anybody wanted to do that. Um, it is almost every day, uh, but they're, most of them are in the evening. So we like to wind it down, turn it up, whatever you need. Uh, most of our classes are in the evening, but it's almost every day of the week. And where is that again, where they can find those classes? Yeah, at PristyPowerYoga.com. Or they can just DM me or Pristy Power Yoga on Instagram. So if they want to just reach out to me, I could just hook it up. Like okay. it's not a good deal. Yeah. yeah, and we tagged you guys in your spotlight post. So um, yeah, just, you can always go on our Instagram and you can find Lindsay there as well. So yeah. cool. Are you ready to uh, take me and everyone else at home through a little 30 minute of Lindsay JIP and your yep. little flavor? Yeah, I am. I'm cool. ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready now. Let me Excellent. adjust my, my stand here. And, there you um, go. Yeah, when you're ready, just take a deep breath and then come into your child's pose. Yeah, just come onto your mat, bring your big toes to meet, knees out wide, and let gravity fall on your hips. Yeah, and then from there, the connection to your heels, 
from your thighs. Yeah, feel yourself on the ground. Send energy all the way through to your fingertips. Roll your shoulders just back and down your spine. Yeah, feel that transition down and then reach as far as you can forward with your hands. Yeah, just bring your forearms up off the ground, really integrate here. Come into your breath, your Ujjayi breath. In through your nose, maybe this time out through your mouth like you're fogging up glass here. Yeah. And really get a good breath. Good. And get into that. that Just allow this to be your breath. Allow this to be your breath uh, for this practice today. And take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your nose. Yeah, good. And when you're ready, I want you to take a big breath in into your belly and then come into downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. You know, just give some love to the back of your knees. Yeah, like that. Good. And maybe paw out with your hands and kind of feel the difference in each shoulder and wiggle a little bit. This is kind of just like a hello to the entire body here. Just warm up. Just be like, mm, you need some love. Mm, you need some love. We're just going to give love here. Yeah. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And then I want you to walk your toes. Just tiptoe to your hands. Yeah. And let it go as you come to the top and rag doll here. So you can cross your arms. Or you can sway your arms to the ground. Just let your top half go. Yeah, relax your neck. So good. Yeah. And when, let's see. Yeah, good. Now take a deep breath in and halfway lift and elongate through your spine. Get long from your pelvis to your crown. Yeah, a nice long spine here. Exhale, forward fold. And take a deep breath in. Fill up. Rise all the way up. High extended mountain. Yeah. And then reach as high as you can, fill up full expression. Exhale your hands to heart center right here, yeah. And just feel where you're at in your body. Set your intention for your practice today. We're gonna move, this is gonna be a quick, this is gonna be a sweet, this is gonna be amazing for you. And I just want you to find something that you really wanna get out of this short and sweet practice. And then take a deep breath in and cartwheel your hands up, round them up for an extended mountain, yeah. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. And now come to a high plank. And you're going to exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale through an up dog. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Yeah, good. And now just from here, release. Let it go, let it go. And take a deep breath in. And I want you to step or float to the top of your mat. Good. Now take a breath in, halfway lift. Forward fold, let it go. Fill up high mountain, all the way up. Yeah, good. Exhale, forward fold. Excellent. Halfway lift, breathe in. Vinyasa flow, moving through your chaturanga, letting it go. Breathing in with your up dog, out with your down dog, high, low, up to down. Yeah. And when you come into your downward facing dog, fill up right away. Take a big breath in. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Yeah. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Come into your chair, your thunderbolt. Yeah, right here. Good. Squeeze everything in towards center. So good. Squeeze the penny between your thighs. Tuck your hips just a little bit. Yeah, good. So great. Take a deep breath in at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga moves through your vinyasa on your breath. Yeah. Good. Stay with your breath. Ujjayi. Take a deep breath in. I want you to exhale your right foot forward for warrior one on the right side. Get your feet. Rise up. Yeah, good. Breathe your hands up. Take a big breath in. Find your small adjustments here. Come into your forward knee just a little bit. Square your hips to the top of your mat. Perfect. Yeah. Send energy all the way through to your fingertips. Good. Equal gravity between both feet. And take a deep breath in. And then exhale your hands to your mat. Vinyasa flow. Yeah, we're just going to flow into the other side. So when you're ready, you're after your 
downward facing dog take a deep breath in exhale your left foot forward for warrior one rise up breathe in good wow so good and take a deep breath in exhale your hands down to the mat yes so good vinyasa flow excellent take one big deep breath in when you're ready to step or float to the top of your mat so good inhale halfway lift exhale fold deep breath thunderbolt here sit in your throne be proud squeeze everything in towards center and right here i want you to think about what it is you wanted and then sit deeper yeah good reach as high as you can with your hands reaching to the heavens and then set your bum down there you go so good take a deep breath in full expression exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift vinyasa flow on your breath high to low up to down that's so good mmm deep breath in exhale down so good now from here just I want you to feel your body where you're at in this downward facing dog and how it's different from your first downward facing dog and in integration yeah so good and take a deep Good. We're having a little bit of connection issues, huh? It's just okay. It's okay. We're good. Okay. We're in flip dog. Yes. So good. Flip dog. Reach with your floating arm. Look up. Yes. So good. Open your chest. Beautiful. Yeah. Hi. High five. Good. Now flip back over and you're going to bring your right hand to the ground and you're going to, oh, or that's your left hand. Left hand to the ground. Right hand goes up. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Side plank. Good. And from here, there's a lot of modifications that you can do if you're having issues staying here. You can bring one leg up. You can bring one leg down. <laughs> it's all fun. Now bring both hands to your mat and vinyasa flow. Yeah, move through a flow. Just kind of flow. There you go. Up, down, all the good stuff. Breathing in. Take a deep breath in and send your left foot up. We're going to flex your foot, bend your knees, stack your hips. Yeah, flip your dog. Or you can stay, but flip. Let's flip. Yeah, flip, flip, flip. Good, breathe, open your chest, so good. Flip back over, bringing your right hand to the center of the mat, opening up for our side plank here. Same modifications apply you can use here, and it's all fun. This is all fun, playful curiosity. Woo, yes. Now bring both hands to your mat, vinyasa flow again, let's flow, I love it. My students know we do a million vinyasa flows. <laughs> take a deep breath in yeah and go ahead and bring your right foot forward for crescent lunge on the right side yeah good rise up and your back foot's just going to be popped a little bit like a barbie foot yeah good zip up your back leg bringing the back of your uh, your knee up good and take a big breath in and exhale your hands to heart center and revolve opposite elbow to your forward knee yeah Press your top hand into your bottom hand. Open up your chest. Roll your shoulders back and down. And with each exhale, just twist just a tiny bit more towards the ceiling, looking up towards the heavens and just smiling with your heart. Just a big open. And when you're ready, if you'd like to, you can fly your arms or stay. Yeah. And from here, bring both hands to the ground. Vinyasa flow to the other side. Good breath. Yeah, stay with your breath, your ujjayi. Bring your left foot forward for crescent lunge. Rise up with a big breath in. Exhale your hands to heart center and twist. Revolve to the other side. Yeah, good. Whoop. Press your top hand into your bottom hand. Roll your shoulder back. Feel that transition with the shoulder blade coming down your spine behind you. Look up. Enjoy this position, and just if you're ready, yes, yeah, fly your arms. There you go. You got it. You got it. This is the fun part about life. We fall and we get back up. That's a new edge. This is the power that with Baptiste Power Yoga is the threshold that we find. 
Every time is different. Bring both hands to the ground. Vinyasa flow. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step and float to the top of your mat. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Deep breath in, chair. Sit deep. Sit deep, Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring your hands to heart center and twist. Thunderbolt prayer, twist one side or the other. Good. And passing through center, honor your core and go to the other side. Excellent. Staying with your breath. Take a breath in and exhale, forward fold, and bring your peace fingers to your big toes, pull down. Find a nice bend in your knees if you must. And don't be so um, hard on yourself. Let your lower back just relax here, yeah. Good. And then take a breath in and you're gonna exhale your hands under your feet. So palms to toes, fold them under, really ground here, all of our extremities, just towards the ground, yeah, good. Excellent. Now you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna prepare because we're doing crow. Come into crow. This is a nice balancing, find your edge asana. You're gonna bring your hands to the mat, nice and strong in your shoulders and your arms. Yeah, good. And then bring your knees nice and tight and up into your, yes, good, triceps there. And then go ahead and teeter on forward, one toe at a time. Love it, so good. Yeah, breathe, breathe. And if you're here, send your toes back for a high plank. Woo! Yes, just like that. So Woo! Good, yeah. Now vinyasa flow with it. Go ahead, come up <laughs> flow high, low, up, down. Yes, yeah, so good. And then when you're ready, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise up high, mountain. Yes, so good. And we're gonna find our Tadasana here. So go ahead and just reintegrate with your body and you're gonna come into, so you're gonna switch your weight into your left foot, left leg, skin to muscle to bone, you're gonna come into eagle. So right arm under your left, right leg over your left. Yeah, find the bind or a prop with your floating foot. Squeeze everything in towards center. Squeeze a penny between your thighs, yeah. Get long in your back and then bring your hands just so they're parallel with the ground, yeah. Good, breathe, find your drishti, ujjayi, good. Now go ahead and unwind and come to the other side, eagle. Mm-hmm. This is where we find our breath, our drishti, our focus, it's so good. Excellent, yeah. Breathe. Excellent. And then unwind and come into standing leg raise. So now you're going to shift back into the left leg. Come bring your right leg up. Yeah. And then open up. So you're going to open your knee back to the side and then look over your left fingertips. And this is where you can keep your leg bent or you can reach for your toes. Whatever edge you need to find here, if that means nurture or if that means challenge, do what your body needs. And then when you're ready, come and bring your floating foot down in front of you. Just hover it above the ground, flex your toes up above, yeah, towards your face, good. Now swing your floating foot back behind you for airplane. Yeah, good, find your core, skin to muscle to bone in both legs. Yes, now open up half moon on this side. Excellent, perfect. And take a deep breath in and come on out, come to standing and we're gonna switch to standing leg right to the other side. So you're gonna ground through your right leg, left leg comes up, yeah, open up and then you look over your right fingertips. So good. Breathe, drishti. You gotta feel the power, feel the heat, be with it. And bring your floating foot down and in front of you just to hover above the ground, flex your toes towards your face and squeeze. Swing your floating foot back behind you for a powerful airplane. Yes. I love airplanes. I'm all about airplanes. All senses. Air Force. Airplanes. Air Force. There you go. Open up half moon. Good. 
Yeah. Now bring everything in towards center. Come to standing. Breathe. Yeah, breathe. Good. Now from here, come into dance. So you're going to reach up with your left hand. Right hand goes behind you for your right foot. And you're going to teeter on down. Ground. Really ground through your left foot. And teeter on down for dancer. Yeah. Good. Breathe. Really utilize your ujjayi here. Yeah. Imagine I'm just holding, I'm just holding your hand. And we're just like, yeah, right there. Good. <laughs> I hear the tea. <laughs> There you go. And then we're going to switch to the other side. Come on out. Dance to the other side. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Excellent. Ground down with your rooted foot. Really just skin to muscle to bone here. Yeah, use your core, your focus point, your breath. Excellent. Engage in all that you can. Good. Come on out. And now you're gonna ground through your left leg. I love this. Ground through your left leg and bring your right leg up for tree. Yeah. So you can bring it to your calf or your thigh. Avoid the knee. Good. And press your thigh into your leg, into your foot, and your foot into your thigh and really create the bandhas there. Yeah. Grow your tree in any shape or form you wanna be. Breathe. Yeah, good. Now ground through both feet, switch your weight to the other leg and come up with the left for tree on this side. Yeah. Good. And grow your tree in any way, shape, or form you want here. And now ground through both feet. Take a deep breath in. Swing your arms up for extended mountain. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Vinyasa flow. High, low, up to down. Yeah, so good. And then take a deep breath in. You're going to exhale your right foot forward for warrior one on this side. Yeah, come into warrior one. And then open up warrior two. Yeah, so good. And I want you to teeter on down for extended side angle. Yeah, good. Breathe. And then from here, come back up into warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Love. Yeah, feel this. And then press through your forward heel, elongating through your right side. And come into a nice straight leg. And then teeter on down for a triangle. Yeah. Hello. This is Lindsay style journey into power. <laughs> okay, so good. Now side facing wide leg forward fold. Yeah, good. Let your back just be free here. Breathe in and exhale. Come into namaste front facing forward fold. Yeah. And plant your left hand into the ground. Oh, right hand into the ground. And bring your left hand up for a twisting triangle. Yeah. My left and rights are always so mixed up, but you guys get it. Take a deep breath in. You're going to vinyasa flow to the other side. Yeah, move on your breath. Good. And bring your right or left foot forward. For, yeah, warrior one. Good. Open up warrior two. Reach forward, extended side angle. Yeah. Breathe. Ujjayi. Good. We're really grounding here. Now we're going to open back up. Warrior two and reverse your warrior. Mm hmm And then straighten out through that forward leg. Really press through and then cartwheel down for triangle on this side. Yeah. And wide leg, side facing, wide leg forward fold. Yeah. Take a deep breath in and let your body be here. Ooh, yeah, I love that one. Feels good. Mm -hmm. And now namaste, front facing forward fold. Move on your breath, so good. And then plant your left hand down. Reach up with your right hand for twisting triangle. Yeah. Breathe. 
Now bring both hands to the ground. Come into high plank here. Engage through your core and lower into low plank. Yeah, high plank. Low plank. High plank. And lower for three, two, one, all the way down to the ground. Yeah. Keep your chin to your mat. Let everything come down. Take a deep breath in. Come into locust. Bring all extremities up off the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look up and then let it go. Come to the ground. Come back down. And then take a deep breath in. Come into locust. Yeah. Good. And come back down. And reach back to your feet or your calves. Yeah, good. And then come up for floor bow. Breathe in. Look towards the sky. Good. And come on down. Yes. And one more time. Floor bow. Up, up, up. Good. Yeah. That's nice. Let everything go. Come back to the ground. Oh. Your mat. Yeah, feel good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Upward facing dog. Nice and slow. Slow and juicy. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah, I love that. When you press one hip into the ground and then the other. Bring one ear to a shoulder and then the other. Yeah, good. Downward facing dog. And then from here, bring your knees to the center of the mat. Come into camel. Yeah. Good. Breathe and come on out. Good. And one more camel. Make this one feel just the same or better. Arch through your chest. Yeah, release your neck. Feels so good. Mm. Yeah. Now come on out when you're ready, leaving your chin to be last to exit. So nice. Come to a seated position, feet out in front of you, knees up. And you're going to roll onto your back. And you're going to press your heels into the ground and come up through your pelvis. And really press through your heels so that just the tops of your shoulders are on the ground, bringing your chest to your chin. This is bridge. Really feel this in your back here. So you're in what we like to call half pucker. Don't go full clench or clench in the, in the glutes, but don't like be completely floppy. Yeah, this is just half here, halfy. There you go. Ooh, hi, pops. <laughs> Take a deep breath in, lower your bum down to the ground. We're gonna come into wheel. So go ahead, come into wheel. Take a deep breath in, engage in your core. Exhale, press up, wheel. Yes. You are a yes. You are ready now. So good. Wheel, take a breath in. When you're ready, come on down. We're gonna just do two more. Yes, nice and slow. Up, up, up. Come in. Good. Yeah. Woo! Excellent. <laughs> and come on down. And with this last one, make it your best one. And really try to find something new in this last wheel. Find something new. Find a new edge. Press up. Be with it. Be strong. Yeah, press up. Wheel. <sighs> Woo! Good breath. Yeah, let it go. <sighs> <sighs> I see you. Come on down. I see you. I see you. Come on down. Nice and slow. Supta Baddha Konasana. Enjoy oh. this feeling. Feel the breath in your belly, the heartbeat. Yes. Ooh, close your eyes and just drink it in just for a minute here. Good. Breathe. Enjoy. Yeah. And then I want you to just send your feet up towards the sky and you can come into happy baby. Sorry. You're okay as long as I can see you and you can see me and hear me. Instagram keeps like timing out on me for some reason. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Happy baby. And then from here, go ahead and come into a high boat. You can do it. High boat. Yeah. Good rock up. Low boat. High boat. And then swing one leg behind you for a half pigeon. Yeah, you got it. Good to go. Okay, good. <laughs>
Are we in half kitchen on the other side now? Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, excellent. Woo. Yeah. Breathe. Be with. And then take a deep breath in, come to long arms, bring your torso up nice and slow. And with intention, come to a seated position with your feet out in front of you. Yeah, reach up, hands go up, exhale, and reach towards your toes. Bending through the hips, yeah, good. So nice. And when you're ready, come on up, take a breath in, come up, and then come into some sort of inversion, if that be just legs up or um, can't stand, shoulder stand, all of the above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Love it. And stand. <laughs> Love it. So good. Be with it just for a beat here. And then come on down. Come on downtown, my friend. Nice and slow. Yeah, and then come into a supine twist. Yeah. One leg or the other, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go to the other side. So just be with this asana here, breathing, relaxing. Yeah, we're coming down. Good. And then switch the other side, supine twist. Yeah. Good. Breath. Feeling the warmth inside of you from the beginning of your practice to now. You've been ignited, awakened, and your fire is lit. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Yeah, breathe. Let the soft spot between your eyes relax here. And when you're ready, Take a breath in and move to your final savasana. to just be without judgment wherever you're at on your mat just be Take a breath in, wiggle your toes, your feet, your fingers, your nose, puff out your cheeks. Yeah, and bring one hand above your head and the ground behind you. Roll to that side in a fetal position. Ooh, yeah, good. Yeah, and take a breath here. And when you're ready, with intention, and slowly with a breath, come to a seated position. Yeah, and breathe your hands up. And exhale, come down to heart center. Bowing your head towards yourself, honoring yourself and your soul and your light and all that you just did and the journey that you just went through. You are powerful. You are more than enough. You are worthy. And then breathe your hands to your forehead center. And know that the light in me honors the light in you and I'm so, so happy and honored to be guest with you today. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for your time. Namaste. Namaste. Thanks. I went two minutes over. Woo! But we did good. Thank that you is... so much, Brian. That was amazing. You did so no, good. That was great. Like, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Love a good sweat. 
It's just thank you. I acknowledge you for showing up and being a guest and being a powerful leader in our community. Thanks, Brian. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I'm honored to be here. And I can't wait to see everyone uh, that's to come, all the teachers to come. I'm excited. Thank you.